In this video, I'm going to break down the best route in Madden 21. I'm going to show you how it works against multiple different coverages and different adjustments that people might make and really teach you how to build around one route. I think that's something that gets forgotten. So let's dive into this. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Cody. And basically what we do here on YouTube is basically become a better Madden player. We're trying to become a better Madden player. We're trying to help people become better Madden players. And so if you're looking to become a better Madden player yourself, Go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We upload videos about eight different times a day that are designed to give you diff different types of tips and concepts that you can apply to your own game. So uh, in this video, I'm breaking down the Gun Bunch tight end, and I'm going to break down a couple of specific plays that I really, really like out of it. Uh, in particular, the best, in my opinion, the best route um, in the entire game. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in here and... I actually have a whole ebook out on the Gun Bunch tight end, so if you want to get that ebook, that link is in the description. Now, first and foremost, I want you to show show you the defense I'm working with here. I'm kind of just using um, some different types of zone drops, uh, and I want to test out a couple different things. So, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically put ball in air defense to play receiver, auto flip on, quarterback matchups on balance. Everything is fair here, default game. But then the one thing that I'm going to do, and this is just because I want to test out some things, is we're going to put these flats on 30, and we're going to put the curl flats on 25. So I want to kind of check and just make sure and show you a couple different things as regards to this uh, defense. I'm going to sub in some backup linemen just so that I don't get instant shedded uh, in practice mode while I'm trying to show you this defense. Now, I'm running kind of the, the meta, I guess, uh, of defenses, if you would. Um, and that is the nickel 335 to nickel 335 wide. Uh, actually, in my I feel like, and I don't know if I you know the true or not, but I've been running this since June, so I feel like I was running this for a long time. Um, I've written two ebooks on really the concept, but the most latest one is on just the 335 and 335 wide. Um, so if you want to get that, that's also in the description. But anyway, let's dive right in here. So cover two, man, and. Um, we're going to go ahead and come out in the play PA all cross. Now, you probably have heard of this play. Uh, I'm going to set up some zone drops here, or some audibles, just to kind of have some different things um, at my disposal uh, if I wanted any of these things here. So i got curl flat corner, mesh tight end corner, and inside cross. I probably should change inside cross to inside switch. That's normally what I do. Anyway, so PA all cross. Okay. So... Two things about this, first and foremost. The first and foremost is that different zones, different types of zones... Um, defend routes differently. So, for example, a cloud flat dropped at 25 yards will defend routes differently than a curl flat dropped at 25 yards. Okay, you might not have known that. You might have thought in, up till this point that I thought that they defend kind of the same way. Well, they really don't. Um, so, different types of routes. For example, a seamed flat route is going to defend um, a route different than a curl flat route will. So, um, those are things that you have to think about. Number two um, is that. Routes work differently depending on the side of the field that they're on. So, for example, if I'm on the left hash mark and I'm running this crossing route to the wide side of the field, then the defense is going to play it differently than if I were to run it to the short side of the field. So we're going to go over some of that and kind of get in the weeds a little bit. This is an example of what we talk about in the ebooks and kind of the level of detail that we go through to put these together. So I hope you enjoy the video, and it might be a little bit more in-depth, so stick around for it. And again, if you just want to get the full schemes, um, they're in the description. If you want to get my text playlist, that is really, really good. i got 12 different schemes in there, and that one's completely free for you. Uh, it goes over different types of meta schemes like bunch tight trips tight in um strong close things like that uh big nickel over g text me um my number's in the top left hand corner so that being said let's dive right in i want to talk a little bit about this so um first and foremost the, the the most popular defense that people are going to run is this right here you're going to see that i have a seam flat and i have a deep blue or deep outside third on the outside so all i'm going to do is i'm for right now i'm just going to run the meta setup of PA cross. Now we're going to change this once we start to notice problems, okay? Um, because once you notice problems, then you have to problem solve, and that's what we're going to do. So anyway, um, take a look at this. This is just delay fade, and I just want you to watch the crossing route. If I pass lead this crossing route up, you see, and I think they might have actually patched this crossing route um, because up until like really the other, like I was I was playing uh, the other day some. And they, for some reason, were able to stop this crossing route a little bit easier than they've had time in the past. So anyway, if I roll out here, pass lead that up, that should beat that coverage, and it's not. Okay, so 
that's a remember that's a that is a um, a curl flat zone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a cloud flat zone. Okay. So we're going to go to a cloud flat zone. Now on the outsides here, instead of putting these guys in um, flats because we know those are 30 yards, we're going to put these back here. Um, so actually, let me let me restart here. Let me let me do this. So instead of putting these guys in Mabel coverage, I forgot we put those flats on 30. That might be why they're getting back there. So we're just going to yellow them across, just to kind of make sure we're just watching for the zone, the specific drop from zone. So this is 20. This is at 20 yard. Watch this. From the safety, you see he takes it away. Okay, so that's important to know. So now um, what we're going to do is we're going to try cloud flats. And then we're also going to show, um, you know, basically what happens, you know, when they run this from some other area. So right now if they run the safety on the hard flat um, or the cloud flat, it stops it, right? Um, now this is a ye yellow zone or not yellow, light blue, and you see the cloud flat takes it away. So, okay, so he's able to take away with really both of those. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test uh, curl flats. So I'm going to put them, I'm going to re-hot route those guys into curl flat zones, and then just kind of clean up these guys down here. So this is the coverage that I'm going to see. And at the snap of the ball, what you'll notice, and let's just watch this play. Now that is interesting. You see that curl flats did not stop it at 25 yards. Curl flats at 25 yards did not stop that route. So now we can do some, that, that opens up the conversation. So now we're going to try it again on that Mike Blitz 3. Just to make sure that we didn't miss something. Okay. So we're just trying this out one more time. Same setup. And I think we did miss something. I think we did miss something. Um, so what happens is basically if you have enough time in the pocket, um, if you have enough time in the pocket, then these zones that are to the safety will basically not stop it. So... These are 25-yard curl flats. These are seam flats, and I want you to just watch it. So if I wait, 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 throw it up, pass it up, click on, that's what we're, that's, you see that right there? So that's a window that we can now throw in. So now what we want to do is go back and just make sure. So we're going to test out, uh, and I'm just going to do this from cover three, I think, um, but we're going to test out uh, cloud flats, right? So same zones, but now they're cloud flats. And I just want you to watch here, cover three, cloud. See how he comes back inside right there? So see that right there? That's interesting. So basically when the crossing route kind of gets to a critical point where he's going to break or not, um, then you see this. I mean, you see this. There's almost been every single time. So let's watch this again. This is Cloud Flats. He's crossing, he's crossing, he's crossing, he's crossing. Pass lead up. Right there. So if you notice 37, the safety will basically come out of focus. He'll come out of the play. So that means that that's a 30-yard cloud foot that we can throw the ball over. Okay? The next thing that I want to talk about is um, Tampa 2. So let's try this from Tampa 2 and see if there's any difference, right? Because remember, when, they're, when they come from different areas, sometimes they defend differently. So, uh, some, so like right now... What you'll notice is now that the, the, the cloud flat's coming from the, the corner, not the safety. So he might defend this differently. And as you see, he does. He takes it away. Right? He takes it away at a different point. That's also important. So if you notice that as well. So when I run Tampa 2, they're taking the same, they're taking the route away, but they're taking it away at a different point. So for example, watch this. So if I throw this. Because it's a cloud, I can throw it kind of in that window, but not, uh, you know, kind of not. And he's able to take that away. So now, if you continue to think this process out and think it through, there's a couple of things that you can do to get this open. So this is where I'm going to add different routes to 
deal with this, okay? This is how I'm going to fix the problem. Now, one other thing I wanted to talk about real briefly is cover four. So um, we've shown cover three. Now we're going to show uh, cover four. So this is cover four with cloud flats and same setup. And I just want you to watch the crossing rope. Like it's kind of there, but kind of not. It's kind of there, but kind of not. Now, if we were to roll out, that's one other thing that might change things. So um, we'll just get out of the pocket here. It's a naturally a rollout play. You see that I don't know that that necessarily matters. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't matter. I'm just saying it might not be, you know, for Tom Brady's it, it, sake, it might not matter. But we'll just spy this guy. And, again, we're just delay fading the tight end. That's the only adjustment we're making. Roll out of the pocket. Roll out of the pocket. Nothing there. See that? Nothing there. Okay? So those are some really good insights, in my opinion, because now what we can do is we can go fix the problem that we, do, we are now having. So there's a couple of ways that we could fix this that would, in fact, I think, fix it. So first and foremost, the first thing that we could do, um, that we could try, is, and, and, and again, we know that the, 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 the cloud flats are going to tend to do a little bit better. Um, so one more thing I want to test before we start fixing things is I want to test... What happens with 30-yard uh, curl flats and 25 uh, flats? Just want to run that. Just want to run through that one more, one one time, real quick here, before we start fixing the problem. Okay, so Tampa two. These are 25-yard flats. Now I want you to watch what happens. And you see, it's a lot more open. It's not as. I mean, it's not open, but it's open, right? I mean that. It's not open right there, but if I were to, if I just had a little, you know, again, if I just, again, read it, read it, read it, and of course you get this stupid instant shed, so it's not going to work. That's why I don't, that's why it just blows me away. The, the practice mode sheds are just crazy, but anyway, I'll show you again. So we're just going to give ourselves some space here, but uh, from the defensive line. But if you watch, watch God, watch the crosser right there. Now, another thing that you'll notice is that players with better route running will run this crossing route better. So, um, if you notice that Godwin's running it kind of shallow, um, Brown would run it probably a little bit more over the top. But, as you see, that's that's more what we're looking for, right? That's that's He's not running it deep enough probably because of his route running. That's another thing that will affect it. So, anyway, all that to say, let's, let's run through the... Um, let's run through the... Uh, the, the, the purple zones. So these are seam flats, 30-yard shade, and he pretty much has it, right? Unless you have really good stick, he pretty much has the he pretty much has you bagged on the sideline. Um, now what we'll do is we'll try um, we'll try curl flats, and you'll see again. Curl flats don't. St doesn't look like curl flats stop it. Um, it. It looks like it looks like curl flats just don't do their job. And we'll show it to you out of this one. Oh, they get back there. Okay, so thirty yards, thirty yard shade. Um, takes it away. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's jump in and try to fix some of these issues. Um, first and foremost, it's very, very likely that you're going to see them drop these crow flats to 30 and then them drop these to like 5. Okay, it's very, that's probably what they're going to do. Okay, so because it's just, it's just the easiest, it's the easiest natural adjustment to do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on how to fix this problem. One of the ways that you can fix it is by opening up a window to throw the route um, against the coverage. So the first issue is you've got to clear that deep blue, right? You've got to get the deep blue out of the way. So one of the ways that you can do that is by streaking the tight end instead of delay fading him. Okay, so I can just streak him. The next thing is I've got to clear space from the flat. i got to get the flat out of the way. So how can I get the flat out of the way? One of the ways you can do that is by taking your running back and putting him on a flat route. And then from there, 
Um, it's really all, you know, a couple things you can do. So you can you could leave this post route to Mike Evans if you wanted to. You could leave this flat route to Antonio Brown if you wanted to. What I would probably lean towards recommending is to bring Antonio Brown and basically run him on a, uh, a hitch and put him right in between the numbers here, right there. And now let's take a look at this. So now I've got that underneath read, but look at how open this is now. Look at how open that is. Just because we cleared space. Why did that work? Because a seam flat now has to go guard this streak to the tight end. We've cleared space. That's what we've done. Now, let's try to only fix it with one one little adjustment. Let's try just one little adjustment. So let's try just... Um, we're going to delay fit the tight end, and the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take Evans, and we're just going to motion streak him. Let's try that and just see how it goes. And that's man coverage. My bad. I forget the audible. So if we try, if we try, let's try that again. So we're running the Mabel coverage, right? Everyone's favorite coverage. But now, instead of trying to fix it with two or three players, let's try to just fix it with one. So we're just going to streak Mike Evans. Motion over streak. Watch this. It's not quite there. Not quite there. Okay. So it's not quite there. Now, some, a lot of reasons why that might be the case is because we motioned him over, right? So now another question that you'd have to ask is, okay, well, what if we streaked him when we motioned him over? Like, what if we let him set his feet so that he could cleanly run people off here? Now there's a lot of room. Now there's a lot of room. You saw that right there? There's a lot of room now when you do that. When you let him set his feet so you can so he can get on top of the play, basically, um, he, he, there's a lot of room to be able to throw this. So we're going to delay fade the tight end, motion over Evans. Because really what we want to be able to do is have that drag, because that drag, we can playmaker that different directions, especially in mutt. So watch this. Pass lead up, click on, there it is. Okay, and that's over a 30-yard cloud flat or curl flat. So that's an option. Another thing that we can try is again adjusting two players so let's say we did something like this where we take mike evans i really like him on that deep route the only problem is when we take the tight end on his route it kind of gets in the way a little bit right so that's the one issue um can you not have you know they're going to run into each other basically so another thing that you could do is you could take Mike Evans and run him on his route to the right. So if you look at this right here, just this motion over right here, and we'll see how this goes. Now this should pull him, but the problem is you see they end up within two yards of each other. That's an issue um, because now one player is able to guard two people in his own coverage. Now that's not going to work. So that's where I come back to say what I've liked so far the most is really this setup. And if you watch how this plays out, like this, this will be a wide open cross route because it's going to pull that purple to the middle. And then you can basically, okay, he, he was able to defend that a little bit better on that play. So now we'll try, we'll keep trying stuff. Instead of a, let's do instead of a hitch, we'll do a curl. And we'll do it like this. Now you can streak Mike Evans if you wanted to. You can even hitch him. You can do a lot of things over there with that guy. Let's just see how this works. That's what we're looking for. You see see how he gets that outside leverage? That's what that's what we're looking for. So really what happens is they basically um, overreact to the seam streak because it's a seam flat um, and they're able you're able to hit this route to to Grun or not Gronkowski but um, you're able to hit this route to, oh gosh, why am I forgetting his name? Uh, Chris Guy one right here. So if you take a look here on this, this is a wheel route. We'll see how this works. Right, nothing really. They run into each other. That's not a great look. So there's, you know, just a lot of detail. I mean, it's, 
if you watch, you can take care of this. Now, another thing we'll try, which we haven't tried this yet. Let's just do a motion over hitch to Brown. Let's just do that. Just a hitch. And just watch how the zones react to it. Okay, they don't really react. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So they don't really react to that. Um, another thing we could do... I'm trying to think off the top of my head here. Another thing we could do, like, let's say we do something like this. This is a classic setup for pretty much anyone that runs trips or anything. But basically a flat and a wheel concept here. So you have something like this. The wheel route's open against the zone. But he doesn't do his job. Okay. Normally the wheel route might pull things back or, you know, make things a little bit different. So those are always things that you want to check based on formation to formation. So really the best thing that I've seen so far is to streak the tight end. And then what I would probably do on the backside is I would have my playmaker guy be, you know, this guy right here. And then I would essentially do something like this. And now your crossing route has some routes that are going to pull. But see, that still takes it away. So, I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is. But uh, one thing we did want to check, just let's just try just a pure streak to the tight end. Just to see how that looks. Um, if we were to run this. Yeah, he doesn't get over it. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. So, realistically, you know, what you're going to do here, whoops, audible the wrong, with the wrong controller. Um, you know, realistically, I think you need a route that's going to pull. Um, they're going to almost always have to run that. They're going to have to run their, their, their flats at 30, right? That's like a no-brainer. The thing that you can mix in that really does help is this motion over streak. That's it. That's the only adjustment. We're just going to streak Mike Evans. And if you watch what happens, let him set his feet so he can clear things out for you. But you'll see here, it really can pull this zone on the sideline and you can hit that route. Okay? So those are some things. Those are some tips um, with this play. There's a lot more that we can dive into um, just as far as depth goes. One thing we'll do real quick is we'll just flip the play and really we'll just see how these how these hitches really do because these hitches are so important but if you take a look here watch this curl see how when you run this on the I mean you almost, it's almost works to me it almost works better on the short side of the field like if I'm on the left hash mark I want to run this to the short I don't know if that's true or not um, it just seems like it uh, just with what just what we just saw and again we'll try it we'll try it without because we didn't really try it to the short side pre um, pre adjustment so we'll try that real quick so this is 20 or 30 yard cloud or curls look at that look at that look at that ladies and gentlemen so if you run this to the short side all of a sudden you just fixed every problem pretty much you literally just fixed every problem by running it to the short side that's crazy now one thing I haven't talked a lot about is this setup right here um, I think is really really good all you're going to basically do is you're going to take Chris Godwin and I would just put him on a post or a curl, either one. But this this setup right here kills a lot of zone coverages. This motion over this post. If you watch here, you can throw this on the sideline just like that. Now again, you know you you really want to make sure that you are um, you've got to give him room to run. So you want to snap him like early, early, early. But this, this gives you that ability. So you could do something like this, you know, and then honestly you could just put a, I don't even know what you would put Godwin on, anything you really want to, just probably not a crossing route. But again, if you motion right here and just wait, 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 you could, you, you can hit that route to, um, to Mike Evans is all I'm going to say about that. Um, for whatever reason, uh, this thing decided to be really weird with the match coverages and stuff, but but you can hit this um, you can hit this route and we'll just do something like this just to kind of give us some flexibility here but if you watch here 
See how see that late? See that see how that comes open late? And I know it's not quite there, but this is something that you could do. So let's say that they're running like um, let's say that they're running like this a coverage just like this, right? This is kind of the general way people are going to run their coverage. So what you can do is if you have even if you had like to play inside switch, right? But you can just motion this over. And essentially what's going to happen is this tight end pass we'll we'll get we'll get that pass lead right there. So it's going to force that corner to come back on that. And if that that corner will typically come back on that route. So then with that that's why you want to really snap him like early. So then what's going to happen is you smart route him. Motion him out here. Snap him right there, and just watch here. Wait, 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 throw. Like, that can hit there. Um, it's just a timing route, really. The faster the, the faster receivers you have, the better that's going to work out for you. If you don't smart route him, uh, I'll show you what that looks like real quick. But these are just some little little tricks of the trade, and, and really how you start to put this, I think, how you start to put a scheme together. Because you see, see here, you know, that's the one issue with it, but... But then you could do it out of a play like like um, inside switch, for example. Uh, really the play that I would recommend doing it out of is tight end corner because the type of corner route that this would be for Brown um, is really the, the corner route that you want to have. But if you watch Brown here, he's going to go, 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 go. Now, we didn't snap him early enough, but this should get him open. Um, this should get him open over a curl flat zone. Regardless of the shade, um, it's very similar to the opposite side that we can do. So this is a setup that I probably need to run a little bit more myself. Um, just a simple, you know, something as simple as this right here. I think this is tough. Snap it right there. But again, you're just going to wait, 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 and then throw it right in that window, right, in the, right in that pocket. So those are some, those are some things for the lab. If you, as you're running this scheme, um, those are some things. And in the ebook, we tell, we give you more. Um, what I would say is more finished setups. What I wanted to do today is I just wanted to kind of talk uh, a little bit about, you know, what this what this really looks like to build a scheme around this, like, and to, and to really work work out the kinks in it, because there are some kinks that you have to work out. Because as you see there, thirty yard curl flat, stop it. But the thing that the thing that you have going for you with this with this play, like tight end corner, is let's say that curl flats. It's correct and accurate to say that curl flats will stop it, but let's say you're running tight end corner, right? Now, again, we're not even talking about the tight end corner route because you can run that, but we're just talking about this route to Antonio Brown. Snap him right there and watch this. You can throw it right in that window. That's about 20 yards. So you can really start to mess with their zone drops is what I'm getting at and, and something that I think is super, super critical because let's say that, you know, let's say they do something like this, you know, you can then run all kinds of like just little, uh, little zone beaters here. The one thing I want to check out really quickly before we take off is because, again, people are going to do these. These are the zone drops they're going to use. Um, how does this play if there's no streak on it? See, see how he goes on him and then he comes away from him? And it gives you that sideline window throw. That to me is huge. So, and you can do this again to the wide side. Um, you know, and again, different plays work differently to, to depending on the side um, of the of the hash that they're going to. So that's another thing that you have to watch out for. You have to understand that. But like you see here, like that that corner is not guarding him, and that's a thirty yard cloud, thirty yard curl, curl flat zone. Now, um, you know. So so anyway. Those are some things that you can take away. Um, you know, these corner routes and stuff, everything works differently depending on the side of the field you're on. So let me show you, and, and let me show you kind of the finalized thing that we take away from this is number one, when you're running this crossing route, it might be better to run your crossing route to the short side of the field than to the wide side of the field. Common sense would tell you to run the crossing route to the wide side of the field, at least in my opinion, because you have more room. But if you watch how the zones actually play it, like, and I guess of course they play great there, um, the the way the the way the zones actually play it to me, it, it makes a little bit more sense to focus. And again, you can run them on both sides. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying like pay attention here a little bit, um, you know, because again, typically, and that was probably the other thing. It's also one of those things where it's like 
where is the yellow where is the zone coming from because if the zone is coming from the safety it's a lot different than if the zone is coming from the outside guy i'll show you what i mean by this so uh we'll just do this and we're going to put the outside guy in a in a curl flat zone watch the difference in how the coverage is going to play motion out here see look how much more look at that it's wide open it's wide open if you do it that way so you know that's some of the deep some of the little things that just make a big difference so you know a lot of people are going to run this setup right here because having the safety on this route is like in my opinion that's the way that they're going to do this so that's where you could come back and do something like this you could you could basically take mike evans put him on a crossing route streak antonio brown delay fade you could do something like this right here and now because they can't have it from both their safeties or at least it's not likely that they're going to have it. so now watch mike evans passing it up absolute laser so those are some things to think about as you're putting together the pieces of this offensive scheme if you want to get the full ebook links in the description this was just a little bit of a guide on the crossing route and kind of understanding how it works and some things you can do with it uh, the, the crossing route from the bunch tight end in my opinion is the best crossing route in the game um, so that's just my personal opinion so you can build around these routes you just have to understand how to fix problems. Once the def you have to understand how is asking the question, how is the defense going to adjust to stop this is a critical question when you're crafting an offensive scheme. My opinion, um, and though that's the question, it's that jab, right hook, punch, counter punch, punch, counter punch. So in the ebook, we give you the full scheme and really analyze and go into depth about why and, and how this stuff works. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you. If you want to get the ebook, that link is in the description.